What's up guys, this is James White with Freak Interviews, where I specialize in as seen on TV product reviews, gadgets, and more. Now today I'm coming to you from Diamond Head in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm going to hike up at the top and test out two products, the Cold Tech Towel and the Aqua Clip. That's today's review, so let's get right to it. All right, quick overview of the contents here. You've got the towel, you've got two inserts, and you've got the cylinder that they come in, which you want to keep because this also stores everything. Now, I have one insert that's hydrated and one that's unhydrated. They come unhydrated, and you only have to hydrate it one time by soaking it in water, and then it will look like this. It'll stay like that, too. After they're hydrated, you stick them in the freezer, and then when they're frozen, you can just put one of the inserts in the towel, and one of the inserts in here. So once the one on the towel thaws out, you can switch it out, and then you have another one that's ready to go. I should point out that I got two of these, one for Vegas and one for Hawaii, because I wasn't sure if I could take this on an airplane, so I hydrated both of mine in Vegas, and I brought two unhydrated here to Hawaii to use. I actually have different design towels. They have different designs. The one in Vegas is purple. So this is a fr fresh set. I've only hydrated one so far. I'm gonna hydrate the other one, and then I'm ready. I would give you an overview of the Aqua Clip, but there's not really much to say about that one. So we're just gonna take that along and see how it works. So as you may recall, I did a cooling towel in mid-17 where I did part of it in Vegas and part of it in Hawaii. Today I'm gonna duplicate that with this towel, which supposedly works in humid climate. Now the first towel I did was the Mission Cooling Towel. It just gets wet and evaporates. And this one supposedly works in humid climate where I found that the mission really didn't. So I'll be interested to see how that goes. The Cold Tech cooling towel works a little different than the evaporative towels. Those you just get wet and they wrap around your neck. This actually has little packets of uh, an ice solution that you put around your neck and it stays cold for up to about an hour. I've been wearing this one for about 30 minutes. So you, I have my second one all frozen in here. So when I get to the top, I'll put that on and I should be cool all the way back down. I also have the Aqua Clip, which was someone sent to me. This is a little bit simpler device, all you do is put it around the neck of your bottle. You can also use it to open a bottle if it's difficult, but I'm gonna put that on my belt as I hike up to the top of Diamond Head, and I'll have my water right there on my belt. There we go, how's that look? I think I'm all set. I got my Aqua Clip with my water, I got my cooling towel to keep me cool on the way to the top, and it's pretty humid here. It's very balmy, so I'm gonna be curious how this works. I'm gonna cut back to my first test with this cooling towel back in Vegas, just as a kind of a control test, so here's how that went. Right now, if the editing of this video goes right, this is going to be a flashback. Now, it's just in Hawaii, hopefully. Anyways, here I'm in Las Vegas, day before I'm leaving for Hawaii, and I'm wearing the cooling towel for a test walk. I'm going to go for about a half an hour. All right, I'm 30 minutes in. Ice is still doing pretty well. I'm pretty impressed so far. Just for the record, let me see what the current temperature is here. In Las Vegas, it is currently, can you see that? 102 degrees. For my friends in Australia and the UK, that's 39 degrees. And the humidity is 12%. How's it gonna work in Hawaii where I think the current humidity is something like 94%. It's supposed to be humid all week. I'm glad the, the hurricane missed most of the islands. I feel bad for the flooding on the big island, but I'm glad that it didn't hit Oahu directly. But it also did leave a very humid environment which will actually work well for the testing of this cooling towel. Another thing is one thing I don't like about the regular cooling towels that are just evaporation based is, is you just basically get them wet. So you're getting your neck wet, you're getting your clothes wet, you have a big wet stain on there. These, the ice is contained so you don't actually get wet, which I really like about that. You don't get wet and it stays consistently cool, it doesn't warm up over time as, as the towel dries out. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it, but yeah, a long way to go. In fact, I have a long flight tomorrow. All right, I was out there for over an hour. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, well, they are melted. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. I'd say it lasted close to an hour, like they claim. It's still cold. It was still cold on my neck, but not quite as cold as ice. It's starting to slowly warm up. But I think that the claim that it lasts an hour, at least in dry heat, 
is confirmed. Now let's try this in humidity a few thousand miles from here. I had a pretty long travel day today. I'm pretty exhausted, even though it's only about 6.30 p.m. here. It's on the other side of those hotels is Diamond Head. I'm hiking that probably tomorrow unless it rains. I'm going to take the cold tech towel and the aqua clip with me and see how it works. Until then, I'm just going to enjoy my time here in Waikiki. Tourist trap. It's kind of funny. I live in Vegas, which is a tourist trap, and I come in another one. I haven't been in this part of the Waikiki in 20 years. All right, guys, this is not a bathroom selfie for tender. This is me in the bathroom in my hotel trying to figure out how to hydrate this cold tech towel. And so I'm going to put some water in the sink and try that. I think this is actually going to work. All right, there we go. It looks hydrated to me. Now I'm gonna to try to stick it in the microscopic freezer that comes with these refrigerators in the hotel rooms. I did confirm that this works because this actually, well, that's frozen. I was, that was water when I got here and it's frozen now. So uh, it's certainly working. This is not easy to do without your cameraman. My cameraman is not here, but I'm gonna leave that overnight and it should be frozen tomorrow and then we're gonna head out to Diamond Head. Oh, here we go. I'm feeling that. Uh oh. The driveway. Any claustrophobics in here? I can breathe again. Which way? Way. I'm gonna go the long way. Whoa, look at that. Awesome. Here we go again. Yeah, more stairs. There we go. Good thing I had this cooling towel around my neck. So at least 5% of me is keeping cool. I'm dripping with sweat though. Uh. So I'm at the top of the Diamond Head Summit with my cooling towel. It's been over an hour since I left and this is definitely thawed out. So I'm gonna put my other one in there and as I hike down, it works pretty well. My neck is still cool. It's still, these are still cool even though they defrosted, but um, I'm gonna, it's time to switch it out. I'm gonna open it up and see how, if those are still frozen in the vacuum tube. After that, catch my breath, head back down. Also notice that the aqua clip it, it has held through a hike all the way up here but it tends to move forward as I'm hiking if I don't put it far enough to the side. Plus it kind of got my shorts wet from the condensation. Otherwise it's holding up pretty well. The good news is the second one is frozen. I just put it in here and head back down. This looks like the two hours is gonna be accurate. All right, I'm back in my hotel now after that long hike, not only up and down Diamond Head, but I walked a couple miles after that. So it was a good day walking around Honolulu. But here's my final thoughts of the cold tech towel and the aqua clip start with the cold tech towel. If I was going to give it a rating, I'd give the cold tech towel a solid nine. I would say that it stayed cold as long as advertised. I think each one of these inserts are supposed to last about an hour. I don't think the second one lasted quite as long because it was probably thawing a little bit in the cylinder, but I got a good hour and a half, hour 40 minutes of ice out of these, which was far superior than I'd ever get from one of those evaporative towels. I like how it tucks into your shirt as well. It even protects my neck from the sun. So, I mean, it's really a good product. Now, the only negatives I would say is that it's going to be a lot more expensive than a typical evaporative towel. I think it's in the $40 range. The other thing is if you don't have access to a freezer, you probably can't use it because if I was lucky that my freezer actually worked. Otherwise, I would have been out of luck. Other than that, I think it's a great product and I'm happy I was able to find a cooling towel that finally works in humidity. That's a big deal. Let's take a look at the Aqua Clip now. I think the Aqua Clip, I would give this... Uh, I'm going to give it a generous seven because it did hold the bottle on my belt the entire time up and down Diamond Head. And I was running, I was jogging, I was bouncing up and down, it held it in place. I think for that it's pretty good. And the fact that you can even open up hard to open tops with this, it's kind of cool. Now on the flip side, what I don't like about it 
is number one, it kept moving forward around my waist as I was walking. And with all the humidity, the condensation kind of got the front of my shorts wet where the condensation was going from the bottle onto me. And so when I put it off to the side so it wouldn't move forward, my arm was in the way. And then finally, because it was against my body, I think it was warmer than it would have been if I just put it in my backpack. So it's kind of a situational thing. I think that it has some uses, but maybe not a complete solution. Have you used a cold tech towel or other cooling towels or the aqua clip or other clips like that? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Check out my social profiles where I post progress pictures and videos as I go. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV and gadget reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. Just sitting here on my balcony having to shave ice. Mm. You can't come to Hawaii without having to shave ice. What I always wondered is why is sometimes it's shaved ice and sometimes it's shaved with no D ice. The place I bought it from seemed to have signs for both, but I asked them and they said the proper Hawaiian way is shave no D, shave ice. So there you go. By the way, speaking of Hawaii, since I'm here, I know people, some people said, you know, shout outs are worthless or whatever, but I'm gonna shout out someone anyways. The reason my channel exists is because a vlogger out there by the name of Perry, I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description below. I saw him, he was a he was living in Hawaii, and he did a vlog in Vegas, and I saw it. It's the first vlog I ever saw, because I hadn't been watching vlogs before that. And then after that, I saw Casey Neistat and some of the bigger vloggers, but I still give credit to Perry for being the one that I found first. So if you ever wanna give Perry a little love, go on his channel, give him a comment saying that James sent you. I'm standing in front of the Aloha Surf Hotel. Now I don't know it looks like just a generic Waikiki hotel, but up there, on the 12th floor, in the corner is the first time I ever stayed in Hawaii when I was 18 years old, long time ago. The drinking age was still 18 back then. There was about 50 of us who celebrated graduating from high school. One of the best memories of my life were in that hotel. I stayed at the Waikiki Beachcomber back in 1995. So I've got memories all over Waikiki here. How could you not love this place?